Good afternoon, young Michael. It's good to see you again. Good afternoon, Brian. What have you got there? Uh, this is the cover of my new book, Things Are Really Crook. We have to implore people not to vote for your namesake, Michael McCormack. That is a, bu a bit harsh. We discussed dropping to 2% GDP growth yesterday. That is just a low point. There will be a big bang bounce from here. Go, okay, Michael, I want to show you what I tried to get to the other Michael uh, to take to Ian McFarlane and to Joe Hockey on the 16th of May 2014. This diagram shows that as long as the actual revenue was below what's the needed revenue, that the debt would um, remain. As the two got closer together, the slope of the curve started to decrease. I understand that. The problem, young Michael, was that GDP growth got lower so that the actual net revenue got further away and the slope of the curve increased. Michael, what I've done is I've just changed over this to show that um, as we've moved down here to 2%, which is quite bad, uh, when when we drop to um, 2%, uh, then the growth of the slope of the curve got much steeper. Your namesake does not want to even think about this. I am sure that he will talk to you soon because the Chinese Free Trade Agreement and the TPP will improve everything. I know that the other Michael Andrew Robb, Scott Morrison and Michael Turnbull will say that, but Andrew Robb said that in the past three years uh, he had negotiated three trade deals and we have sunk to the lowest GDP ever while he was negotiating them. Doesn't that tell you something, Michael? Yes, do not underestimate, Brian. These are much bigger. Doesn't that mean that the problems will be bigger? No, no way. We are living in a time of huge opportunity. Our country will go strong. Young Michael, you are starting to sound like a politician. We have to have a commercial break now. I want you to sketch in the movements of GDP growth that you feel from now for the next four quarters leading into the next election. <coughs> that commercial break was for Bunnings. Are they relatives of yours? Oh, we're connected somewhere, Brian, somewhere along the way. Good. Uh, you've shown steady growth, but what do you feel that the other Michael would be prepared to say instead of leaving it to a rabbit? Oh, God, I've just got a, a signal from my producer. Michael, I want to sincerely apologise for any inferences that I have made. I want the public to publicly state that I think that you are smarter than most of the politicians we have. Now the reasonable sobering thought is that even with the steady growth you've shown uh, the target of 3.1 percent will not be achieved so that the debt curve will um, not even flatten out. So what happened, we had this huge uh, increase in the slope of the curve and then as this was going up slightly then the, the rate at which debt is going up slightly flattens out but still is, the debt is still climbing. Michael, do you think that Scott Morrison would understand that even then, one, debt would continue to climb but at a lower rate? Two, there should be an accompanying curve for the huge interest component. Three, the return to surplus, even by 2010, 
is extremely unlikely. Michael, I wanted to show you the enormity of the problem. Uh, this is, uh, we're going back to something that we had uh, two years ago. Do you remember this, Michael? Brian, how could I forget? Since then, we have gone down from 2.4% all the way down to 2 and we are trying to struggle to get back to 2.4. This is why we feel that we have to write this book because we really are in a very bad uh, situation. Michael, I would like to return to an event from yesterday. Brian, my head is spinning. I am not as old and experienced as you. Can we stop here? Uh, yes, okay Michael, but for Scott Morrison and Christopher Pine, I would appreciate you indicating that I disagree with Scott uh, that we have only a spending problem, not a revenue problem. Our revenue is far too low. They should be thinking of about a dollar fixed at 60 cents or less. Countervailing duty is accepted by the World Trade Organization, WTO, opening the barrages at the lower lakes to provide more irrigation water and more. Okay, tomorrow, uh, Michael.